Okay, tutorial. You know what? A more than likely sounds like this is going if uh, it was on a side gen swap truck. Um, so normally the charger sent out in this configuration. Um, here. Uh, you know, first things first, you want to take the factory actuator off. So factory configuration is about right here, so what we have to do is first things take off the nuts on the actuator and the circlet. Which is right here. So we take this guy off. Don't need it. It's not gonna work because we're gonna reclog this thing. Um, it might work if you're running 45 with this thing pointed up to the top. Uh, more than likely, you're probably gonna have it down here, closer like the second gen swap's gonna be. Uh, in which case, it's no longer works. Uh, if you want to shave that off, you can. <coughs> If it's in the way of anything. So what we're gonna do take a square. Take a square. <laughs> and square your flange to a 45. Next thing is going to be this clamp right here. This clamp needs to come loose. The charger should spin freely once you do. You need to orient the drain uh, straight towards the ground. Uh, easy way to use it. If you, whatever you're squaring off of, fold that same flat edge against the bottom of the drain. And now get that parallel to your squaring surface. Once that's done, you will already have anti seize on this. Don't. That's right. All right, once that's tightened up, next thing is you're probably going to have to orient the comp cover door you want it. The uh, snap ring is going to be on the passenger side, easily accessible. You can access that snap ring right here, and with two people, one can squeeze the snap ring and now rotate the comp cover where it needs to be. Uh, you can also do this on the vehicle, though it tends to be kind of difficult sometimes with some of the accessories that are in the way. Um, so we tend to kind of one thing you do is just take the snap ring out, go to the vehicle um, with the charger on, and orient this, then mark it with a paint marker where it needs to go. You just need to be very careful that you do not damage the compressor wheel in this process. What you should probably end up with is going to be something right in here. This would be on the 45, your drain's going to be straight down, and the comp cover on a second gen swap or on a second gen self tends to be right in this area. So there's going to be studs in the bag. Um, take the nuts off. They're a M8 by 1.25, a 50 millimeter stud with a M8 by 1.25 nut, 13 millimeter wrench with a little bit of anti-seize on them. Oh, there it is. That's problem. And thread them in until they stick out through the top, probably like th 3 sixteenths to a quarter inch. Uh, you can adjust them wherever you want. That's where we put them when we send them out. Put both of those in. Next thing you're going to do is take one of the gaskets. that on. You're going to take your spring gate plate. This is the one that we use for testing uh, gate pressures. So pull beat up. But you're going to take your gate plate and you're going to slide it over the studs. Okay. I can't offer it. Put on your next gasket.
a little bit anti-seize, not enough to get on the gasket, so we just want to make sure the, the nuts don't get seized up over time through heat cycling. Both materials are stainless steel. And just hand tight. Um, so you can do it with, you can put the drain on at this point if the charger's in the truck, or you can leave the drain off, even if the charger's in the truck, especially in the third gen, if it has a flexible drain, this might, this might be a little easier if it is in the second gen or first gen with a hard drain. Um, at this point, you'd want to thread these, um, you'd want to get the drain in position more than likely. It, it's just a little bit easier of a, t of a job if the drain is not flexible. If the drain is flexible, you actually can do all this on the bench or in the truck. Because uh, even if it's in the truck, once we get the spring assembly on, it'll lock the plate in place. And I'll show you that. Here, we want to make sure that our arm is facing the foot. You can, because we found we've done it, you can install these upside down and they won't make any power and be very smoky. Uh, arm always faces the foot. Uh, just easy way to think about it. Once you take our gate assembly, it's going to be a quarter 20 rod, a retainer, a double spring stack, the eyelet, and the C-clip. The bolt has a washer at the top, another retainer, another springs, place it through the hole. Uh, usually put a little bit of anti seize on this. Now put your lock nut on, thread it up to the top. Put the eyelet piece on. You only need to do a few threads on these. Three threads is plenty. At this point, since this is, uh, this is a longer rod, it makes it a little bit easier. Thread it all the way up. Five and a half inch rods. It will have a little bit more tension on it than that, but it's pretty easy to do in the truck or on the bench. And just not looking. And, there you go. and because of the geometry of these with the second gen swap 45 degree manifold, um, it'll just stay in place. You know, take your circlip. There are two sides to the circlip. We want to put the sharp side facing out and the round side facing the turnbuckle. Pop that guy on and you're good to go. Uh, the kit that we sent out is going to have the five and a half inch rod, which is a lot tighter one than this one. And this just makes it easy to, to do the video. So how can you do all this and with it out the oil drain on? And once this is on, find a 13. Because of the spring tension, it'll hold the uh, part in place. So you can do all this without the drain in your way, if that's easier, or you can put it on early. So then all you gotta do is thread these off. So from here, all you gotta do is take your drain. Depending on what it is, it's just wanna keep around for making sure we bend these the right way. Drain can go on. And now you can tighten these up. Um, sometimes the drain can be in the way of working on the spring area. So it's easy to if you want to leave the drain out of the way. 
technique doesn't make really much difference which way you do it, just whatever way is more comfortable for you. Cover off. This is what it looks like. Let's do it all on. And we have an actuator on the back side. And this all stays in place once it's tightened up. There you go.